Hello everyone, in today's video, we are going to present about the application of gravimetry analysis in plant food. First, let's introduce our members. Our first presenter is Mama Ashik Iqbal, followed by Siti Nur Adila, Ainul Fakiha, and Siti Rabiatul Adabia. Hello, my name is Muhammad Ashik Iqbal bin Saiful Shafizal, and I will begin my presentation with what is gravimetric analysis. Gravimetric analysis is a quantitative method in chemistry that involves determining the amount or concentration of a substance present in a sample based on the measurement of its mass. This sample can be a liquid solution or a solid every method or discovery must have their own origin. So, where does this come from? Every method or discovery analysis is a lab technique that uses a change in a mass to measure the mass or concentration of substance. Gravimetric analysis was invented by Theodore William Richard and his Harvard graduate Theodore William Richard was an American physical chemist and the first American scientist to receive the Nobel Prize in Chemistry, earning the award in recognition of the atomic weight of a large number of the chemical elements. If there are advantages, then there are also disadvantages. The following are the advantages and disadvantages of gravimetric analysis. Moving on, we will continue with the advantages of gravimetric analysis. Gravimetric analysis is the most accurate method. And also, Procedure to conduct the experiment employs low-cost equipment. Possible source of error can be checked easily. Meanwhile, the, the disadvantages of gravimetric analysis is very time-consuming. Also, require careful accuracy during sample analysis to provide the accurate result. Gravimetric analysis also only provides analysis of a single element at a time. So in this video, we are going to talk about the gravimetry analysis of phosphorus in plant food sample. For better understanding, let's get to know about what is plant food. Plant food is any substance that nourish the plants and encompass a variety of materials such as compost, synthetic fertilizers, and natural organic matter. So what is the purpose of this analysis? It is to determine the percentage of phosphorus in plant food. Why do phosphorus present in plant food? For your information, there are three essential nutrients in plant food such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. The importance of these essential nutrients are First, nitrogen are vital for the growth of leafy greens, photosynthesis, and general health of plants. Second, phosphorus is essential for flowering, fruiting, and root development. Lastly, potassium works as a disease resistance, enhances nutrient uptake, and promotes sturdy stems and root systems. Before conducting this analysis, these are the precautions steps that must be taken into consideration in which analytical balance should be adjusted carefully to prevent error from air current or ambient temperature. Next, precipitate need to be rinsed roughly to remove any soluble impurities. Make sure to avoid overheating because the precipitate may react with the impurities at high temperature. Next, I'm going to explain about the methodology used in our experiment. There are seven crucial steps that need to be followed when doing gravimetric analysis experiments. First, preparation of the sample, precipitation, filtration, washing, drying, weighing, and calculation. Let's go further into the steps. First, preparation of the sample. Weigh 3 grams of plant food sample and transfer it into a beaker. We use Vajra Seri Taman in this experiment. Add 35 to 40 ml of distilled water to dissolve the sample. Remove the insoluble material through filtration. Next, precipitation. Add 40 ml of 10% magnesium sulfate heptahydride and 100 ml of 2M ammonia slowly into the beaker. We are advised to add the ammonia slowly to the beaker's wall to ensure the slow reaction occur. Allow the mixture to sit at room temperature for at least 10 minutes to complete the precipitation. Next, filtration. Pick the filter paper that will be used to collect all the precipitate. Fit the filter paper into the glass funnel by wetting the paper with the same water to hold it in place in the glass funnel. Next, transfer the solution and precipitate from the beaker to the glass funnel. Next step is washing. Rinse the beaker 2-3 to three times with 5 ml of distilled water and pour it into the precipitate. Next, rinse the precipitate with 2 times of 10 ml, 10 ml of 75% of isopropyl alcohol through the filter paper. Make sure to choose washing solvent carefully to ensure no solvent action on precipitate. Next, drying. Place the filter paper containing precipitate form in the oven for 24 hours at 60 degrees Celsius to dry. After 24 hours, wait the completely dried precipitate. The mass measure is used to calculate the percent of phosphorus in the sample. So now, I will show you guys the data of experiment that we got. The name of plant food that we use is Suritaman. 
the percentage of phosphorus content written on the label is 15%. Mass of sample that we use is 3.12 gram. Mass of filter paper plus Mg and H4 PO4 is 1.76 gram. The mass of filter paper is 1.12 gram. And the mass of the Mg and H4 PO4 is 0.64 gram. So this is the calculation. We use the gravimetric factor and mass of Mg and H4PO4 to calculate the moles of phosphorus and the moles of P2O5. The moles of phosphorus, we got 4.672 exponent minus 3 mol and the moles of P2O5, we got 2.336 exponent minus 3 mol. Then, we calculate the mass of content uh, percentage of P2O5 in the sample. First, we find the mass of P2O5 and we got 0.33 gram. And then, the percentage, we use um, weight per weight, which is mass of P2O5 over mass of sample, divide 100. So, we got 10.6%. And um, lastly, we compare our result from the amount stayed on the label of the plant food. And then we will calculate the percentage error. So as experimental result, we got 10.6%. Expected result is 15%. So we calculate the expected mass of P2O5. We got 0 0.468 gram. And then... We calculate the percentage error, which is estimate number minus actual number, divide actual number um, times 100, and we got 229.8%. In conclusion, we can use gravimetric analysis to ascertain the percentage of phosphorus present in plant food based on the results of this experiment. A common all-purpose plant food's phosphorus content was also ascertained by gravimetric analysis in a quantitative chemical analysis known as gravimetric analysis the element of interest is pre precipitate as a compound and the dried and purified precipitate is then weighed so that's the end of our video thanks for watching and this is our reference don't forget to share and click the like button thank you